Hey there, Sven. Super excited to see you here in a couple of weeks. I hope you are just as excited to see, you know, Denny and all the other speakers that you know most of them. So oh, let's get started today. Um, tell us kind of who you are and what you do. Yeah, so Kristen, you and I have known each other for some time, a long time, way back when, when you were at Remax, and I was too. So uh, what I, you know, I'm, I've been in the, the real, real estate business for 18 years, and I, my real focus has been to elevate our marketing and our, and our worlds and our brands and, and elevate what we're doing as a team. And, you know, I'm in a luxury market right outside of Boston, and what I'm looking to do is really share with everybody at the event what we do and how we work as a team. Um, we run a mean team that's lean, but it's growing. Uh, we did 75 million last year. We're going to do 100 to 125 this year. And so, um, you know, my focus is to really, really just be able to share with everybody at the event uh, what we do and how we work and how I can help their businesses. Cause I think it's a really important thing to give back a little bit. And I'm super excited to be at the Greenbrier with you and Danny and the whole crew. So it's, I'm fired up. I yeah. can't wait going to be great. Well, and I'm super excited to have you because as you know, most of our events have been held in Scottsdale. And so we're actually going East um, to have this event at a very, very cool resort. If people haven't heard about it, it's called the Greenbrier. And it is, it is not only a luxury hotel with 57 different things to do, whether it's falconry or golfing or um, skeet shooting, or maybe taking a cooking class or just going into the Bass Pro Shop downstairs in the hotel. I mean, it's, it's amazing. But, but having said that, um, and it's Mother's Day weekend, so like I'm bringing my mom and bringing some of my kids. So, um, but what I would say is that it's also the bunker that Congress, for several decades, that's where they, they had a, a, this special bunker. So if something happened in Washington, D.C., everybody could go to this secret place. And so... We're going to take a tour of the bunker too. So wow. lots of fun things, but let's just get back to you for a minute. Yes, I've known you a long time. One of the reasons that I ask you to be one of the speakers and specifically on luxury is because you've been through a shifting market before. This is not your first rodeo. And I've been to your office, um, stayed at your home several times. And mm -hmm. what I love is that you do run a very lean, mean machine with some awesome people and yet at the same time, you're able to focus on, on the things that really matter in terms of relationships when it comes to luxury. And I've seen your events. I've seen your swag. I've seen how, how, you, it, you, know, how, how you know, some of the people interact with you. Um, and I think that there's a lot to be learned from that because I think some people, um, you know, they, they, profit's the last thing that they think about rather than, well, there's a book that, that Gary had us read recently called Profit First. And the concept is, you know, why don't you take revenue and subtract your profit and then what's left over you can use for expensive. What a concept. It's a great book. I read it too. Awesome. So, um, you know, I, I, I'm excited because I think that there's not only so much for the, the folks that maybe, maybe they're in a, in a price range like here in um, Scottsdale that's, you know, 400,000 average, and maybe they want to take it up to seven or 850. You know, what, what's the way to do that? Because you didn't start just all of a sudden selling $2 million houses, did you? No. I mean, I started in this town where there was, there's 215 licensed real estate agents in, in the town where there's 162 houses sold when I first started. So like, wait a minute, that's a lot of real estate professionals in the same town. So we, you know, I leaned into um, building our brand and our business with, with one listing at a time. And I capitalized on the first listing and it propelled us to a different price category. And it's, it's then kept growing and going. And when you offer a level of service to clients um, that we do and we, we lean into, then we're able to capitalize on that. And those people give referrals to other luxury clientele on that price price category that that wouldn't already know about you or hear about you yeah. so that's a huge piece of what we do you know the other thing experience think, is critical yeah the, the other thing I've done I think you've done really really well is becoming the expert you know the expert of choice um, that really knows this market and so I'm excited for everybody to come and learn from you because how many years you've been doing this now 18 18, 18. years 
craziness. Yeah, so there's a lot to be learned from how you did it, how you built it. For, for people who are either in luxury right now and want to know, how do I get through this shifting market? Or people who are maybe in a lower price range and want to shift up into a different price range. So um, let me ask you this. Why have you come to, to, to events like this that we've put on before, Sven? I, every single time I go to events, and we've been to multiple events together, and I've seen you speak at multiple things, and that you're, I still, you still inspire me greatly, my friend, Kristen. I, you really do, and I'm so grateful for you. But Thanks, man. You know what? Here's the deal, right? Like, I, you, the only way to get better is to have somebody else challenge you. I was just speaking at the luxury event down in Boca Raton, Florida, and it was an honor to be on stage with some really, really incredible people. And... I was, I learned a lot from that event and people were like, well, how would you want to learn something? Like, how can you learn something? You take, you're at the top of your game. I'm like, you're never at your top of the, the top of your game. You can always learn more and you can always be challenged. And there's somebody that's going to give you some bit of advice from, uh, you know, the stage or even afterwards. And just having some conversations with networking with some people is huge, but my whole, when I teach and I'm speaking at different events, my whole goal is to make sure that there's three to five things that I share that people can implement and take away and put in their business today. And I think that if, I, if you do it the right way and you, uh, you, you, you lean into it and you, you take those uh, tools and systems or, or uh, technologies or even just little things that we do or scripts and you implement them, you're going to make some money. And so to me, yeah. that's, that's an important, that's, that's how I, I value uh, going to these events and why I value going to these events. Cause I take something away from it and I implement every once or w w one to three things in my business. And it, it makes me more successful and it, it challenges my team too. So it's good. Definitely. And, and also, you know, a lot of people have said, well, why are you having a, you know, at a location that's so remote, so to speak? Um, Cause it is a very cool resort. And I said, you know, here's the thing. I remember Ben Kenny, when he came to, Scottsdale and um, in December and one several of the comments from the people who came to the event said the number one thing that they loved is how accessible the speakers were and I was talking to Ben about that and, and, and he said well Kristen you have to remember you, you you put me in a situation I I had no place to go <laughs> so um, and, and he was being funny but I think the thing of it was is that people ex got to experience Ben outside at the fire pit at night um, and ask him questions or, you know, perhaps they experienced him um, the next morning doing a mastermind at seven in the morning, which, oh, by the way, Ben is not a morning person. Mm. And, you know, or it was Carissa Akers who was, you know, also doing a mastermind. I mean, I just think that the speakers were so accessible. And what I heard was we learn more from the from the, you know, the side conversations when I remember somebody told me yesterday that when they were standing in line to get their burger, uh, you know, because we had a, 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 you know, a mobile burger place come outside the hotel, that they got to stand in line with your friend and mine, James Nellis, and they learned more standing in line with him and, and just how fabulous that was. So, you know, you and I have been to a lot of small uh, events where we're kind of sequestered, you know, whether it was you know, Howard Britton event or whatever. And what I'm hearing from people is that, you know, that they're just able to take it, they're able to dig deeper and ask questions that they typically don't get to ask when they're at a massive event, which like mega camp or family reunion, which are awesome. But this is just a little bit more intimate where you get to interact with the speakers at a whole different level. Would you agree? Absolutely. I mean, that's one of the best parts of these events is because you can actually have a conversation in a sidebar. And what I'm going to do is bring some cool things down to the event that I'm going to share with people about my listing presentation, about um, how we how we deal with our clients, um, what we do when we when people walk into the office, like just little things that you can do to elevate your business and your brand. And I think that you know having that one-on-one -on -one conversation with, hey, how do you deal with this? Those are powerful conversations to be had. And I think when you have them offline they're actually much more relevant and you can ask very specific questions. And I think it's, that's the kind of event that I love. And, and you know right. that because we've been to some together. So yeah, true. that is the thing that I love too, is because I feel like I can get very specific questions answered that I might not ever ask 
um, if I was just sitting there, you know, it, it, you know, it, in a room full of a thousand people. And I feel like I'm able to get questions answered that I, that maybe I haven't experienced before, you know, whether it's, you know, finding uh, new talent or dealing with issues that, that are coming up in the business. And um, so I, I, I agree with you. And, and that's the number one thing I want everybody to get out of this is to be able to have those one-on-ones, that interaction at a whole nother level. So that reminds me, we're do, our kickoff is Friday night and we ha- we're having a dinner together and the Greenbrier is preparing everything and it's going to be super fun. And we, we have, you know, Denny's going to be leading us off with the keynote. But the next morning, for instance, there is a fun run if anybody chooses to be in it. But even if you don't, there's a champagne brunch. So, you know, so just sitting there, well, you can think about me out there running the half marathon. Um, you can hang around all the other speakers and, you know, with the champagne brunch and, and really maybe get some questions answered from the night before. And so I just want to encourage everybody. I was just talking with a gal right before the, this um, spin and she said, you know, I'm going to move heaven and earth to be there because the only, the only way I'm going to get better is to be around people who've already done what, what, what I want to do. And that there's a straighter line to doing that versus fumbling my way through and making a lot of mistakes that cost a lot of money. So um, anything else that you would share about, about, you know, the event or just, um, you know, why you, why, why you're willing to be a speaker or just anything at all that might help the rest of the people who are watching this. I want to go falconing. I don't even know what that is, but I just want to have a falcon hang out with my arm or something. I think that's awesome. I, but I, but I think the bigger picture is to be around like-minded people that elevate who you are and where you're at and, and take you to a different level. Right. I mean, it's so awesome to be at this incredible event and I'm in this venue and I'm really grateful to that because Christina, my wife is coming with me. And so mother's day and she's fired up to come down. And so, you know, but, but the end game is right. We're going to elevate everybody at this event in terms of what they're doing and how they're doing things. And, and give them some real um, ideas to lean into and leverage. And, and I think that's what I'm looking forward to share. And, and I'm looking to learn from other people that are speakers at the event myself. So, um, you know, it's just going to be exciting. And I'm really, really, uh, I'm honored and I'm fired up that you're, that I'm, I'm going to be speaking. And I can't wait to, to share with everybody else. And so if there's any questions for people that are online right now or, um, that you want to learn from, uh, you know, from the event, or you want to take, you have questions for me ahead of time, send me, a, send me, you know, connect with me on Facebook um, and or Instagram, whatever you want, and, and shoot me an email and text and let me know what I can do to help. And I'll, I'll make sure I lean into that and, and get some guidance. And I, I'm just, again, honored and I'm gratefully, uh, I'm really grateful for having the opportunity to speak with you, Kristen. So it's going to be exciting. Well, I'm excited too. So I just think I leave people with three things. You know, for those people feeling the shift, there's really three shifts going on. There's one, the shift in the market. Um, number two, there's, there's a big shift in technology right now. And, and number three is there's a shift in the fact that we have more competition than we've ever had. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I would say that this event is going to help you shift up. So elevate up, shift up. I think every, I, I, I will guarantee you'll come away feeling like you have now been elevated to another level, not you personally, but your business and your, and the concepts that you learn. So I'm excited, excited to see Christina too. Um, pretty much several, uh, I don't know if you know, but, but uh, several of my family members are coming too. So excited Great. to see you and excited for all of you out there. Take advantage of this. Please come see us at the Green Bar May 10th through the 12th. And all the information is on the screen below. Thank you so much. Thanks, Sven. See you soon, my friend. See you. Look forward to it. Bye-bye.